Hello and welcome. This is Jaffer Virtual University Manager Module Number One. My name is Jackie Geisinger, Regional Director for the Amber Region, representing General Market Team USA. And I wanted to give you a recap of what we learned at Jaffer Virtual University Manager Module. Welcome, and I want to celebrate that you have started your leadership journey. As you know with Jaffra, the journey is all about the first step starting at manager, and there's seven more steps to go in the leadership journey. But welcome to the beginning of that path. Anytime you come to any of our Jaffra Virtual University, you want to make sure you bring all of your current monthly brochures, the action client brochure, product brochure, your leadership guide, compensation plan guide, your pen, and maybe your VIP notebook to take your notes for JVU. If you do not know where these brochures are, nor have them, please go into the Jaffra Virtual Hub, check under where your programs and brochures are, click in there and put it on a stick and take it up to a copy place, UPS store, Kinko's, and get a master copy. They are the best reference and they are the tools for your future. Tonight, what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about in chapter one, our Jaffra values, product selling tips, and best practices. You can see quickly on the screen what we learn in chapter two and what we learn in chapter three. This course will give you all of the guides and tools, tips, techniques that you are as a successful manager, growing more managers and moving in that leadership journey. So let's begin with our values. You will see there's four words above the three dark ones, respect, passion, perseverance, and commitment. Those are the values we teach at Jaffa Virtual University to your new consultants and your successful consultants. As you're a manager, we add in three more values that we want to focus on tonight. The first is discipline. The second is loyalty. And the third is teamwork. And as you take a look at these values, let's talk about what that means. To be a manager, to be the best manager for your team and for yourself is discipline. Discipline is this. You are consistent in sales. You have plans and goals and activities to grow new clients, to grow personal sales each and every week, maybe each and every day. You also are disciplined and inviting others to the business, inviting others to training, you attend, you add new consultants, and you invite them to attend and grow and do the same. You also provide training for your team and coaching and recognition. You are disciplined to help them learn, grow with their plans with personal coaching or team coaching, and again, celebrating their wins. And you run a business, a business that has monthly goals broken into weekly goals and daily activities. That will create success when you are disciplined and then your team duplicates that. They always see what you do and duplicate you, just like children. Second is loyalty. Loyalty is created within your team spirit. Many of you have a team name. You always want to celebrate that. People do more for a cause or campaign to be a part of something bigger than themselves than they do for themselves. So your team name and having team gatherings, maybe you have traditions of team picnics every summer, um, monthly meetings, weekly recognition gatherings, whatever that is, that creates loyalty. And so the more often you're together, and you create traditions and, and consistency, you will have loyalty. You know, it's kind of like when you go to a national conference and the Amber region is in their burnt orange or their orange and the Onyx region is in their black. We have team spirit, we have loyalty, right, to our region. And then your team shows up 
with their district or branch name or t-shirts or signs. So again, that's loyalty. And how do you create that? It's consistency, being together, leading them, believing in them and teaching them. And loyalty comes from loyal consultants that create long-term retention by building relationships. That happens with amazing service, not just with our consultants, but also our clients. So modeling that, having amazing service by relationships, follow-up, and bringing people together with monthly client parties, monthly team parties and trainings, that's loyalty. And the third word is teamwork, the secret to growth. It's not just doing a meeting, but involving people. Could someone, if you're doing in person, be in charge of the registration book, the name tags and the pens? You invited or you involved her. It could be someone who brings the treats this week, someone who's training on booking parties and maybe she isn't great at it yet, but she studied it and she's gonna present because you're molding her. Teamwork makes every dream work. 65,000 is super simple. We have 40,000 consultants. If half of every team in the nation added one consultant this month, we'd be at 65,000. They all get that fabulous color finder kit and we would be at 65,000. You know what happens? Everybody in the world is like, who is this Jaffa Cosmetics? Could you imagine growing our consultants by 20,000? It wouldn't be a secret. That's teamwork. So now here's the key. It's so important to analyze yourself. As a leader, am I the best me? Am I the best version for my we, my team? So what are you great at in discipline and what could you improve on? How are you at creating team loyalty? And again, client loyalty. Are you great at certain things? And is there something else you wanna work on? Teamwork. How are you at delegating, involving, creating team work, doing things together, planning events together, team parties, whatever that be? Or what do you need to work on? Values is about being your best you, but we're always working to improve and be our best version of me. So we go from values to, to our qualities. Qualities, when we take a look at qualities, are really that not every leader is the same, but there are certain qualities that make a great leader. Think about people in your past who have been great mentors, models, leaders for you. They probably had certain qualities, right? That maybe you've tried to mold yourself after. Not all leaders have the same style. That's okay. We're not here to be cookie cutters, but there are a couple of things leaders should do. Leaders need to be adaptable. The world is constantly changing. Look at the last year, are you kidding me? But it's ever changing. And successful leaders have to be adaptive and grow. Last year, you had to learn Zoom in your sleep. You had to learn Facebook. You had to learn to call and invite people and they showed up. So that's being adaptable and growing, but it's a constant. If you're still stuck on social media, no time. Adapt, grow, go into your Jaffa Biz Hub. We have everything there to teach you how step-by-step -step, all the tools to do Facebook parties, Zoom parties, in-person and online parties. They're there. Number two, next, I would recommend setting expectations, a very important quality. When you set expectations, your team knows. That's like giving your team goals. In our regions, we have five goals a month and we celebrate the results or we brainstorm on how to achieve those results. That's what we do as leaders. We set expectations and then we train around those expectations. We coach, we recognize, and we follow up to those expectations. This will create empowerment for all of you to work together to that teamwork. So again, we've gone from values to benefits or qualities. Now we're gonna step into what is the role of a Jeffra manager? The role of a Jeffra manager is these key points. One, you keep your team informed. What are your formats? Is it email, 
Facebook groups, messenger groups, um, WhatsApp, text groups. How do you keep your team informed? Uh, Roto dial calls, texting blasts, and you keep your team trained. Jaffra has amazing training. Training Tuesdays, we have a party fest in our region or each region has different types of regional training. You have maybe some district training, but again, you attend, you bring your team, and then you follow up for that training and coaching as well. And always have your own team events. We might provide a platform, but you're their leader. They will listen to you far more <laughs> than any of us. And next, again, that personal follow-up and, and that comes from helping them to their goals. So end meetings, knowing what they learned, but how does that apply to their monthly and weekly goals, just like you. When you lead by example with goal setting, and using our worksheets that help you set goals, break it down into weekly and daily activities, you're leading by example. If you wanna have people who earn sponsoring rewards, earn them the first week of the month and then teach them how you did it, just like we did this week in our training. So again, lead by example. If you wanna see thousand dollar sellers, be one yourself. You wanna again, grow leaders, keep growing your team and teach them how to grow a team. Grow your team by following up. Do not let any consultant as a new consultant leave welcome to Jaffer on the table, even if she's joining to enjoy the products at the best prices. She could shop four departments four months in a row, skincare the first month, color the next month, fragrance the next, and replace everything in her home and her giftables each month. And she's on her way to VIP and keep her VIP. How? Turn on her website. If she is on social media, would you mind just posting and sharing because why do we give you 50% so that others have the perks and privileges of using Jaffra or joining Jaffra? And each week we're looking for leaders. You didn't arrive. That's only one step of the eight leadership journey plan. So now we've become a leader. Now we wanna help others have the two ways to income just like we do. Do you know leaders have eight titles? They have five bonuses, three different car programs, life insurance, jewelry, international trips, and so much more that a consultant can never have until she grows a team like you. So we wanna be looking for three to five future leaders to develop and give them the gift that we've loved our new Jaffa community in the leadership family. Use your monthly action and client brochure to teach, to invite and show them the leadership guide when they're ready to take a look at how to have more, be more, do more, and even give more. Because really leadership is just giving others the opportunity, not just the product. So let's roll forward. As we look at product selling tips, this is our second segment tonight. Product selling tips keeps strong consultants. Remember, we have four product categories. So it isn't about just buying skincare. It's the goal of teaching our consultants that we have two brochures. If you go to Training Tuesday, you will see that we sell from, we teach and train from both brochures. This book is your monthly sale book. This is how they service customers. Everything is customer centric since COVID. People wanna shop from people they know, small businesses and someone who's going to provide great customer care. This book is to help our customers shop and save money every month on the top selling products that are current to that current month. So, and new products. So this is a tool. But if all we ever do is sell from this book, that's like having a kiosk instead of a department store. You have a 249 page department store. So we sell from both. The goal is never about the dollars you sell. It's the number of products your consultants and clients use. We have up to 400, 500 products on any given day. So the goal is we take them like a concierge through our department store, our Jaffra Macy's department store. First, I'm gonna take you through the skincare department. What do you need, your family needs, and any giftables. Next, let me take you over to the fragrance department, then the makeup, then the bath and body. The goal is every time you shop with a client and help a consultant get her products and, and sell to her clients, 
this is what we're doing is we're teaching from both books. That shopping list is making sure everything in our home is replaced with Jeff for the best quality products at the best prices every single month. So as you work with your consultants, it's not about what were your sales this month. You know what it's about? Great. How many customers do you have that use skincare and makeup? They're in two categories. How about three? They added fragrance. How about four? They're in Bath and Body. The goal is the more products they use, the more departments, the more they're probably going to tell a friend about you and your products, the more apt they might be to book a party or begin a business. It's about the variety of products and being a good service. That's like I go get my hair cut and I pay for my hair services, but she never teaches me hair products that make my color last longer, that make my hair get straighter and smoother and keep my color and my look the way that I just spent a lot of money on. That she teaches me those products needed for my hair. Same thing here. You are there advising. Do not worry about the result. Don't pressure people, service people. That's the joy of selling. So our role as leaders is to create product selling professionals, our pros. Be one yourself and all four categories are different. This is why you could be posting different things each and every day. You could have skin news Tuesday, makeup Monday, fragrance Friday, ah at the spa Thursday, and you could be using all the assets in Jaffa Biz to post, play videos, and be an expert about your four categories on your VIP group with clients, consultants. This is the fun. These are the different four different parties you could host, one a week from each department. Why skincare? Skincare, especially last year, 97%. We did a poll in October. I shared on a training from the Direct Selling News Magazine. 97% of the shift was people really moved into skincare systems last year, buying from people they know and going to small businesses. It was a demand for self-care last year. And with the mask, even more so. Skincare creates the most loyal business in the marketplace. It's the number one lead product that took over last year. It's the highest reorders. We replenish every 90 days and every season, our skin goes through some changes. So you might need to shift up a couple of special treatment products. And we have regimens for every person in their home, every age, every stage, every type. Makeup is also so easy. It's kind of like women can't have too many pairs of black shoes, right? So makeup is the same. It's a door opener. Lipsticks, you never have too many lipsticks or nail colors. And it's every age. It's the rage on Instagram. Everybody wants to be an, a beauty influencer, right? A makeup artist. And it's an easy add-on. Great. Are you ready for new uh, spring colors, lipsticks today? Can I add them into your order? We've got some great lipstick offers for your new spring wardrobe when we switch our wardrobes out. Fragrance, easy to sell. Jaffer gives us super cool things here. You know what we have in here? Scent strips, the peel strips that they can peel and smell and they will sell. We have great samples of our fragrances. Oh my gosh, every order, everywhere you go, leave a vial. Fragrance makes people happy, evokes memories and evokes easy selling. And we sometimes miss three, four different moods all day long. So we're not just wearing one a day. You also have amazing QR codes in here on how to use makeup, skincare and more. And toiletries, hello, the world changed last year. At home spa treatments, for the family, us a husbands and wife and kids doing masking, being in bubble baths, guys are now taking baths and bubble baths. And of course, every sink, every shower having the best. These are door openers, but they're family members. So these are fast reorder products. They run out every 30 days and they're the best giftables as well, the bottom two. So again, we wanna teach this and show our consultants how to be product selling pros and sell from a department store, not a kiosk. So beauty from head to toe is the answer. With Jaffra's four fantastic product categories, or I'll call them departments in your department store, you can provide experience. It's not about the result or the sale. It's the experience you create for a customer. So she tells her friends, she wants to invite her friends to a party or even begin a business because she loved shopping with you. She loves your um, teaching. She loves you. 
It's a Jaffra experience. The products will sell themselves. You are the experience and the brand. Next, we want to train our team to convert their clients from purchasing from all those categories. So have some fun as you're training each week. If you go to the skincare with Wendy Orbach on Tuesdays, talk about that. But now how do we sell that? Plus what we did this month with the sunshine fragrance. So it's adding in different categories and it's teaching them how to sell from one category to the next. When you're done with makeup or skincare, always spritz with the sweet scent that makes you look as beautiful or makes you feel as beautiful as you look. So it's training. Again, we have training Tuesdays. Jaffra has done an amazing job. Jose and team, congratulations, all of our marketing team, because we, we are teaching skincare. So as you add categories, again, remember that on training Tuesdays, we teach you regimens. We teach you how to sell, how to go live. Remember to train your consultants that skincare is a must and there's, there's steps that are must. They always must cleanse, they must moisturize, and they must use daily SPF. Those are a must in everybody. That's why everybody grew last year in our skincare demands in the USA, not Jaffra, in the USA client number one purchase change last year. And then they add in what they want to change, right? I call that special treatment, the serums um, that we have that will make that change, turn back the hands of time. Remember, go to training and then help your customers create dialogues, contact lists. We have sachet cards. We have samples this month, every month in the action, we're seeing some sachet samples. That's awesome. That's how we grow customers. We can even do a party shipping out those in the mail and everybody sits together on Zoom or on Facebook and does nighty night facials together, right? Use again, the categories. We wanna be teaching. All right, you love Royal Jelly. I'm so happy, uh, Luce, that you love your skincare results. This is so fabulous. I knew that would work for you. But did you know, since you love Royal Jelly, we even have color or a lipstick that contains Royal Jelly. So teaching them how to bridge into more. If you think your, your face looks good, imagine your birthday suit with our fabulous spa line. So again, if you have a client who loves fragrance, teaching her to pair and partner products. We know fragrances will last better when it's paired and matched with body care, deodorants, lotions. So every month with your team, taking the kiosk book, but going through, and I love this, uh, Cheryl Sykes shared this um, on our training. They go through the book, they write down names, who will buy what, who's their target market of who would love these offers this month. And then they pair them up to other offers and to other categories to bridge into departments. And then again, they add that sizzle of upselling at the end, but you can't leave this on the table, okay? So again, really fun to do, but involve your consultants on a Zoom meeting, a planning session, after the monthly business meeting, have your own meeting to set goals, plans, and scripts and lists. That's the key, right? Training them. Another rule that we train to, and we do this with the consultants as well in successful consultant training, is the rule of three. You will see this. I love this. I think the training this week that we had with Vicki Mendez, our beautiful makeup artist, she went from pairing about five products we had in a bundle into about 25 products. So it's bundling. It's the rule of three. Never sell one, you sell three or more. So if I was selling a mascara to a customer, it's like, I love that you want, you love this mascara. I want to help your eyes really pop or sizzle, as Cheryl said. So do you have the eyeliner you need? Do you know how to brow wow? In your book, you have QR codes. This book? Are you kidding? You could post a beauty tip, a QR code once a day for the next year in this 250 page book. Not kidding. There's so many tips in there. And it's like this. How do you teach your team to be beauty experts? When they're confident, they'll tell someone else. When they learn something, they tell someone else. It's like a recipe, a movie you went to. So we want to teach them using beauty tips. Our books are packed with beauty tips. If you go to a training Tuesday, you're going to leave with 100 beauty tips. I think I had 101 makeup tips from Tuesday. So again, teach them how does lipstick last longer, as you see on the screen. How do you work with the eyebrows, right? And get more intense color with your eyeshadows. And again, tips on sun care. We actually prevent skin cancer with education. I'm proud of that. You should be too. 
we really do help people look and feel beautifully and live more beautifully and longer. So one other great training is teaching good customer care. I can't say this enough. This makes my heart happy. Teach your consultants to have a client book, to have maybe an A to Z notebook where they keep notes and they keep um, tabs on what they, they buy and who they are. At the successful consultant training, we have a contact list. Go into the Jaffa Business Hub, go in there and you will see the contact list. If you go into our Facebook group, we have it in guides. Print that because it says all their contact information, social media and beyond. It says who their family members are, the products they love and the products they want in the future. We must take notes on our clients. If I went to the same hair designer and she didn't remember anything about my family, um, the products that I bought last time, which it's in her computer, you know what? I probably wouldn't keep going to her and I wouldn't spend more money there like I do. I'd go to someone else for less money, but I love her service. So get to know your clients. Do they have kids? This is for you managers, but it's really to train your team. Good customer care from day one at onboarding is so important. Maybe that's a gift when they have their first $400 month. It's a notebook for their clients. So this is about getting to know their customers. This is a relationship business, not a receipt business. They can get that at Target. They can get that at a department store, but they don't get you when you're good about customer care. So teach them to develop lists, know what people want today, but what do they want in their future? Know how many products they use, know how many departments they're purchasing from, and know a lot about them. Share stories, connecting is personal stories and connecting to their clients. This is my favorite. It's called FORM. I think I learned this in college when I was selling Jafra and it stuck in my mind. My goal was with every person I met, consultant, client, it didn't matter, is to somehow connect with them. And I wanted to know about their family. I wanted to know a little bit about their occupation. I wanted to know about what they love to do in their free time motivation. I didn't interview them, but throughout time at every party, at every appointment, in every conversation, it's finding something in common. It's no different than when you go into a store, you bump into someone and before you know it, an hour has gone by because you had so much in common. But taking notes. This is in the virtual conversation guide. I love this form. I love the virtual conversation guide. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you at the end because you could use that from a party to a sponsoring interview to connecting with the consultant or the client. It is so important. There's a lot of tips and techniques in there that apply to everything. So please get to know that brochure and train your team. Strong teams promote their business. Every month we wanna have a strategy. Where are we going? What are we going to do to promote ourselves? What products do we want to wear out of this book when we go out and about? What products are we earning? Are you kidding me? That VIP uh, bag, super important. Everybody must have the tote this month and everybody's got a fresh start this quarter because that is a branding bag. We don't always get branded items. Everybody needs the color finder this month, the train kit. Those are incentives that help us grow and meet new people. You're only growing when there's new, new clients, consultants, and hostesses and leaders. So again, help them know how to promote themselves, create marketing plans, and even how to go out the door dressed for Jaffra. All right, now let's go to best practices. So what are some best practices? You know what? You don't arrive at manager, you begin at manager. So we're gonna show you how do you take your business to new heights? You know what? To me, if you don't promote leaders, you're always just going to be by yourself. It's kind of like being, I remember my grandma sitting there with four generations. It was myself, my mom, and my daughter. And she got to live to see four generations. I've seen many of these pictures. I was waiting for fifth, but I didn't get her that long. But you know what? That's like having generations of children and grandchildren. She grew to leader and then she helped someone else. This business is built to grow wide and deep, grow leaders, and then teach them to grow leaders. This is eight titles in a fulfilling business. There is nothing more joyful when they arrive at their next title. Honestly, if you don't believe me, try it. Go to Ambassador and tell me how it feels. Because it's only 15 people who want two ways to their income and they want to be able to impact others to make a difference and giving people a business and an income option makes a difference. They have choices and hope and opportunity. So 
I want you to set goals. Where will you be at the end of this quarter, next quarter, and the quarter after for 2021? Together, we will get there. So we want to just review quickly, how do we grow to manager? We promote to manager this way in case you're developing someone else and you forgot how you got there. One, you have $300 in cumulative sales in a month. During that same month, you have four consultants you brought to the business directly sponsored and influenced, and they have $300 retail each. In that same month, together, your sales, those four directs or more, and any sponsors that they had, those are called indirects, collectively of $2,400 in team paid retail, and you arrive the next day, May 1st, as a manager. You will also be paid while you qualify 11%. So you take 2,400, divide it in two, multiply that times 11%, and that's your commission check the month you even qualify. So this is super important. Inside that is what you formed is called a central branch. You're the manager, you have direct consultants, four or more, and then you have indirect consultants that they sponsored. The goal is always adding to your team every month a leader. Again, what should you do? If I could say that is add at least two to your team every month and three in direct, and you will be earning quarterly bonuses and more. So you invite people and teach your team to invite people. The best practice alongside that is always striving to not be a VIP as a leader, but to go to that $1,000 level. You have, once you hit 1,000 retail in a month, free shipping on every $300 or, and, and more in an order that month and the whole next month. When you model that, you're going to attract. What you do is what you get. You will have people who want to make that extra sales 50% income on $1,000 like you. Now you can teach them how to get there instead of telling them to get there. Great practice. Why is it important to have a strong team? because you are paid on their sales. When you are strong and they are strong, VIPs create stability. If you had six VIPs a month at $400, there's your 2,400. Why do you ever wanna stress out? You want income to grow, not stay the same, right? Growth is why we invest our money and our time into our job. Productivity is growing them past VIP. So growing into a thousand, not just adding one to your team to earn the monthly incentive, but to grow to four to grow a team and help others. Here's the reality. If you start at four and stop, you're danger <laughs> because we know on average half of the consultants in your team order every month. So you'll have four. That means you have two this month and two next month. That's the normal activity. So it doesn't work with four. Grow to 12. Keep adding two and indirects each month. Two by you, three by others is our recipe, but keep growing. Invite everyone. Do not be selective. No one judged you and you're here as a leader. Aren't you grateful? Keep giving that gift away. Keep watering seeds every day. Follow up is the mastery and invite your team to do the same. 12 is the magic number. And one in every 10 are sitting right in front of you looking for more ways to income, so invite them to leadership. We invite everyone, but those are the stats in the marketplace today. VIP is the key. For them, that means they're using Jaffra every month. I would have $400 retail myself every month. Are you kidding? In every department, right? But think about that. They're using Jaffra, which means they're going to be able to tell others about Jaffra. Make sure they turn on that website, post a little bit on social media. When they're a VIP and they've got a button, they'll wear it and Jaffra's branded. They have a keychain. They get that VIP notebook that they bring to JVU. There's pride in earning free products as a new consultant each month, VIP rewards, incentives, and great deals only for VIPs. This is your key to success as a leader, to influence every new, to earn welcome to Jaffer and go to VIP and never get out. You don't want a hole in your bucket adding VIPs and they fall out. It's your most important influence each month to grow VIPs. You will maximize and they will maximize their income, their savings, and their benefits. So if you lead by example, your consultants will follow you. People like to follow successful people. The larger your team is, the stronger it will be so that when a consultant promotes to manager, great, 
She's winning, you're winning. If you have a small team and they promote out, you're at risk. Growing a business is truly successful when leaders and consultants share the opportunity consistently each day, each week with a plan and using your tools. Training your team on the VIP club and its benefits and even the leadership benefits works. If you don't show it, they won't know it. If they don't know it, they won't grow it. End of story. The key is, are you doing bullet one, sharing the opportunity consistently and teaching your team not just to sell. We tend to do that easy, but where's the opportunity? Beauty and business is balanced. Training your team on VIP and celebrating that as the big recognition and then growing them to a thousand and then developing leaders. Finding people, notice people out in public. Watch qualities and values within your consultants, just like we shared that a manager is. There's people all around you like that. Could be your clients, people you know, people you haven't invited yet, but invite them. They'd be great leaders. We do want to end this segment letting you know we do have grace periods for leaders. So let's talk about that. Grace periods are if you ever get in a bad month, something's going on in your life, we give you three grace periods every rolling 12 months. So if you don't make your manager minimums of 2,400 for ordering consultants and your 300 retail, you're given a grace period. That means you get to keep your title, but you do not get paid. You forfeit your commission or bonuses for that month, but we will keep you as a manager so you don't have to re-qualify. So leaders are given a rolling 12 month period. So I'm gonna just use the row example number one. I'm gonna teach you a recipe. If you get to four, you are former. If you have four grace periods used in 12 months, you are a former manager and you have to requalify. And that's cool, you can come right back, but why do that? We want you to get paid, but let's talk about these. So if I had a grace period, I didn't make my qualifications, I'll go, this is 2020. January of 2020, example one, February, June. And then I did it again in October, wah, wah, I'm not a manager. If I just take that away and I have three, how do I get rid of them? Rolling means this. So now it's January, 2021. I had a grace period in January, 2020, but in January, 2021, I made my qualifications. So I drop that grace period of last year. I had one in February. It's now February, 2021. I made my manager maintenance. I dropped February, 2020. So it's rolling so you can get rid of them. And now I have one left in June because I didn't really do October. Okay. All right. So Hope that helps. Wanted to just end with that. So now we get to your homework. Today is about what do we do next? I hope you learned some new techniques you could train your team on, had some fun ways to teach them customer care, found ways to be the best you with values, discipline, loyalty, teamwork, and really looked at all of the qualities of great leadership. It's a joy to grow and never stop coming to JVU. We had leaders tonight that have been, this is their fourth time at session one. And they were like, oh my gosh, every time I learned something new because we work in the classrooms and we all were sharing. We had great testimonies and ideas tonight. So if you can ever come live, please do. But if not, at least watch this. How do you get a training certificate? When you go live, you get a training certificate. So but we want to say thank you. Thank you for listening to our training tonight. And now we end our class like school with homework. And the homework is this. We're going to challenge you as a leader to train your team for the rule of three. The rule of three is that we take this again. Instead, we look in the book and we see we love the lipstick. It's $17. But how would we pair it? Because we never go less than the rule of three. If they had the liner, the liner helps the lipstick stay on. And the beauty is that freshness for spring with lip gloss. So what would happen? We're gonna teach them how to talk about it, how to, how to show and sell it. But then here's the cool thing. That consultant went from a $17 sale to 49. Could you imagine if you trained 10 consultants to go from one to three? You'd have instead of $170 in sales in your team to 490. They're happy because they learn to sell and their pocketbook shows it. And you have trained your team and your commission shows it as well. Training and teaching 
and planning with them and involving them makes teamwork the joy. The second piece to your homework is to train your team, not just to sell, but to swim with both arms. We sell and we, we add to our team and invite others. Growth is more new clients and good service, more new consultants and great service to them. So this is allowing, here's an activity, allow your consultants to review what do we have for our social media? What tools do we have to grow teams this month so we're earning sponsoring incentives, VIP incentives, and more? Together, we are going to look at our tools. I talked about this virtual conversation guide. I love this. This is the best training tool, teaching your team how to talk, how to meet with people, how to overcome objections, how to close, how to pack, what to say, how to create a relationship. It's amazing. Next, we have the opportunity meeting. How many times a day or week are you sharing the opportunity meeting or the opportunity video. Do you know, I'm in a lot of direct selling groups this year. It's my goal to go out scouting and looking for people and market Jaffra all over on Facebook in groups, direct selling groups. And I am now getting people. Hi, Jackie, this is in Messenger. Hi, Jackie, um, I'm Shelly. I'm in one of the groups that you're in. And I've taken a challenge that I need to have 20 people watch our company's video. It's 16 minutes. And I was wondering if you could help me achieve my challenge. And so do you mind watching the video, letting me know when you're done? And I'd love to just send you a little treat um, as my thank you for helping me with my challenge or enter you on a drawing. I get this almost weekly. There's 16 minute videos. Ours is two to three minutes. It is one of the smartest videos I've ever seen in my 40 years here. And are you sharing it? Are you inviting people one by one? I thought of you today because would you mind taking a look at this video? And then let me know when you watched it and give me just five minutes to see what you learned about Jaffra. Okay, so, and then virtually sponsoring, doing parties, going on Facebook events. Our assets are amazing in our Jaffra content hub to host parties every week, your own on Zoom, Facebook, and inside, we've inside there is great post videos, everything you need to brand the business and to invite people to the business. So give yourself the challenge now at your meetings with your team to not just train on sales, but to pick a platform. Where are they going to share this month? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, write some scripts, make contact lists, look at the tools we have, and let's set a goal to invite others together we are going to grow to 65,000 and it's all of us with teamwork. Regroup with your team after the activity. And again, what did they learn? Give them weekly challenges, celebrate them weekly when they do hit their goal. Maybe they're going to share with 15 a week. Great. Where do you find these tools? Get into Jaffa Biz. Take 30 minutes every morning. If you don't know what's in our virtual business hub, get in there. There's everything you need to run a successful business. So we thank you again for taking a look and be watching because each and every month, Jaffra is going to be hosting beauty events, spa events, and they're always attached to product training that we can teach our customers how to look and feel good, our potential customers, our consultants, and we will always offer the opportunity. So this slide might be outdated by the time you watch this, but, and so might the incentives of the month, but know that every month we're giving you incentives, we're giving you training, we're providing places for you to bring potential new consultants, clients, and hostesses as well. But we need you to go to the event on Facebook, say yes, click on the event, and then invite away. But don't just announce, be sure to follow up with a messenger, a call, and say, I invited you, click going and let me tell you what we're doing. So it's always about being personal and building relationships. Together, we are here to grow your business, your goals and dreams, and to grow Jaffra USA to 65,000 in our 65th year. Thank you again for joining us. Congratulations on taking our training for Manager Session Chapter 1. We'll see you next month at Chapter 2. Good night, everybody.